Hello everybody, it's Jodie Flavel here from Decoris Vintage Design and I'm coming live to you today on the Redesign with Creamer page. So hopefully today I am going to actually be live and it's going to work and people are going to be able to join me. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is I've got some door knockers, some chalk pastes and some icing pastes and I'm going to be decorating these door knockers. <clears throat> And so just grab a cuppa, I'm going to have a cuppa while I do it and it's just going to be a very relaxing sort of painty thing today. Um, I'm going to give it a second, I want to see if people actually join or I can see people joining, that's awesome. So I'm definitely live today, whether or not I can see comments is a totally different question but, pe but I am live today and people are starting to join so that's great. Gosh I need this cuppa today, it's suddenly gone really cold in England and I just need something to warm me up. Right, okay, so um, I'm going to give it a sec. I'm just going to get the camera moved up so you can see what I'm doing. I've got a few of these today. I'm just going to see how much we can get done um, because I know a lot of you have expressed interest in the door knockers that I did before. I just want to make sure I don't knock over the light. So, hi Nikki. Okay, cool, so I can see comments as well. So that's awesome. So we're all up and running today. So I'm going to pull you down. So can you guys see that? just want to try and get the best angle for you. I need a proper table, so I'm, I'm working from a little table at the moment. My workshop is so full, I don't have the room for a proper workshop table, but I need to kind of sort one out. So today I'm going to, as I say, I've got a few of the door knockers today. I'm just going to see how much I can get done. Hi, Gracie. Um, express interest in your knockers. <laughs> yes, people seem to like my knockers, yes. <laughs> Um, okay, so what I have, so this one is called the, it doesn't tell me, okay, sorry, it doesn't tell me, sorry, you can't see my face, I'm just seeing, if, um, no, it doesn't tell me what the door knocker is, oh, Regal Crown Vintage Knocker, this one, and you can see how big they are, so I've got some big knockers here, I'm just saying, I'm just joking, <laughs> um, so yeah, so we've got, so they're very heavy, they're very cast iron, and there's only limited stock, so um, if you want them, I would definitely go grab the knockers because there aren't many left. So the um, chalk pastes are also fairly new to the shop and the icing pastes are very new, so that is what I'm going to be showing you today. So I'm going to get started. Again, I'm just trying to get the best angle. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Uh, I'm going to get started with the province chalk paste and I'm just going to grab a chip brush. I'm really squashed now. I'm gonna to have to just try and move around. Um, I'm going to grab a chip brush and the way I like to start is by putting a chalk paste straight on there. So this province is a very nice kind of deep blue, I guess. I'm not very good at describing colors. So it's so easy. So these chalk pastes are very thick as you can probably see. I wish I could get you in closer. Maybe, I don't know if I could hold it up. <laughs> um, they're very, very thick. So um, they go on there very easily. I'm just messing around here. Is that, that's a bit better, isn't it? So all I'm doing is tapping and I'm just making sure I'm getting good coverage on there. I don't care about my hands getting messy, to be honest. You probably will get messy if you're wanting to lift this up and down. I don't worry, I don't care about getting messy. So we're just going to tap that straight on there. Straight away we've got brilliant coverage. The cast iron knockers have also got very good kind of texture already, but we're just adding a little bit more texture to this. So now we've got Provence as our full colour. I'm going to come in with some Buxton Blue, and this is a light blue grey, with maybe, maybe a tiny bit of turquoise in there as well. And I'm just going to get a tiny, tiny little bit on my brush there. Hi Caroline, how are you? Hi Connie, and I'm just going to start tapping. So what this will do is it will make the piece look kind of distressed um, and it will make it start to look a little bit worn. So I'm going to kind of go through as many as I can today. So I'm going to kind of do it as quick as I can. So what I will do is I will put a base coat on each one. I'm then going to let it dry and then I'm going to come back with the icing pastes. And these are the dabbing brushes as well, which are the, usually the stencil brushes by Prima, but I quite like to use them just for that little bit of, um, like to create a bit of a patina with, because they create like really kind of scatty texture when you use them. So I'm placing this in random areas. I'm not thinking too much of it. And look how quickly I have just covered that. It's because the pastes are so thick. 
So if I lift this up now, you can kind of see where some of the blue is. I just missed a little bit here. So we've got the province and then we've got some just like kind of patina happening across here just to get um, that those layers built up in those age. In fact, I'm just going to add a little bit more. Just want this patina to be a little bit thicker and the base is um, province, the chalk paste and what I'm adding here is Buxton blue paste and once this is dried, which hopefully it will be once I've done the other bases for the other knockers, um, I will also add some icing paste on them. So there, there we go. That's a gorgeous colour. It is, it, Buxton blue is such a pretty colour and I'm sorry I can't, you can't see my face guys, it's just if you saw my face um, you wouldn't see what I'm doing. Okay, so next up, we've got another one of these, um, I think they're called Regal Crown Knockers. I'm just going to put a piece of paper there so you can kind of see what's going on. And I just want to kind of show you guys as many different colours as I can today. And we're just going to be doing something kind of similar to what we've just done. So I've got the cranberry paste now. And this is a pretty colour. I'm grabbing another chip brush. And look at this. This is actually one of my favourite colours. And I don't know any chalk paints actually that do this colour. Um, so I'm definitely probably, well I've already, I used this paint last week in my live on a piece of furniture um, and it's just beautiful, it's just a, such a stunning colour. So same again, I'm just going to tap on, and as I say the chalk paste are so thick that they just get on there straight away. You want to make sure that you get underneath as well, like that, and around the edges. I'll do the back afterwards once all this is kind of done. I'll, I will do the back off camera once it's all dried. So what I'm going to seal this with this as well, guys, is um, Pixie Bell's Gator Hide. So it's just a really tough, durable, waterproof top coat. Um, so that when people have this on their doors, you know, I obviously know then it's going to, um, going to stay durable and the paint and things aren't going to wash off. But how stunning is that colour? That is such a nice, warm kind of autumn colour, I think, that so pretty do these paste me sealing yes they do yeah so they're just chalk paint so if you imagine chalk paint these are exactly kind of the same they're made of chalk but they're very very thick so what you can use them for and what they're often used for is raised stenciling but I just decided that I like the colors and I like the thickness of them that I often use them for other projects now as well so I did a live last week where I used this color and I um Mixed it with Dixie Bell Sea Spray for even more texture and I actually painted a whole piece of furniture with it. So I'm just, I need to finish that, that's still kind of a work in progress. Um, but once I've done that I will post it and show you guys, but the tutorial's there for that as well. So it doesn't matter as well, so if you've got some of the, um, the iron poking through, that's kind of nice, I kind of like that. Uh, because again it's just all about that texture and adding to it. And just like I did before, um, I'm going to get my, I can never say this, this is buckram binding, it's like a nice kind of warm beigey brown. And just like I did before, I am just going to kind of tap this on, just to create some distressing. And again, this is the dabbing brush by Prima. And don't get too hung up on where you're dabbing, um, just, I just kind of dab in random places wherever I feel like it, to be honest. And it's just to get this kind of layer starting and to get this kind of patina going. Oh, there's a little hair there. So I'm just going to lift up and dab a bit around here as well. They tend to be quick drying, but I've got my blow dryer if I need to just kind of quickly warm them up and dry them before I move on to the next phase. So, and again, so quick. So how quickly have I just whipped up to base colours for the door knockers? And actually you could leave them like this. Um, you don't necessarily need to do anything else, but let me show you what I did with another one um, to kind of give you an idea of where I'm going with this. So this was done in the Neptune. So this was done in the Neptune chalk paste, which is a very dark green turquoise. It's gorgeous. Um, and then, if I can find it, what I put on top is the um, Lucky Emerald icing paste. And the icing pastes are very metallic. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today once those are dried. And you can see here just how pretty that is. So I'm going to do, so I've got five door knockers that I need to paint. And I'm going to kind of think, I think I'm going to do like a metallic series with them. 
So um, I'm going to show you the base colour for one more, I think, and then we'll start to move on to the layers. They just paint up so quickly. Um, I hope, I'll just let me move you up a bit. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. Um, if I am, just let me know. Let me know if you've got any questions and I'll happily answer them. Um, you can see how squashed I am now. I'm so close to the wall so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, 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 I've got a couple and I'm just trying to decide which one I want to do. Right, let's do this one. Let's do this one. So I've got a different kind of style knocker here now. It's a little bit thinner, but it's still cast iron, um, but still very heavy and very, very detailed. Look, you can see the texture and how well made it is. I'm really disappointed these are retiring actually because I really love them. But as I say, if you do want these, um, there's only limited stock left. So definitely go and get them now if you want them. Um, I've lost the plot now, guys. So now I'm going to get Dusty Plum. Um, and just to let you know, I'm just trying to find what knocker this is. This is the Ancient Key Vintage Knocker. So when they come as well, they come with this kind of top. And you can see how thick it is now. And all I do is I just kind of scrape that off. They're very pigmented as well. And I'm just going to use the top. Might as well just get what's on the top and then just tap that on again. And this is a pretty colour as well. This is like a dusty pink colour. sorry guys if you can't like I can't really sh show my face or anything because you won't be able to see what I'm doing um but I just kind of want to show you how versatile these pastes are and because a lot of you ask so many questions um about the door knockers that I did before and I kind of those are the door knockers that I did that were shared by Tammy um I think Adrian did a uh, vlog on them as well they were kind of just what I whipped up um I didn't really think too much about it I didn't really think they were going to be that popular but they, they turned out to be very popular and I got lots of questions about them. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly how I got that look. And again, just whipped it up so quickly and that's Dusty Pink. So just to show you the colours a little bit together. So we've got Dusty Pink. The main colour of that's Cranberry. Again, you can start to see how pigmented these are. And this one's Province and Buxton Blue. So if we go back to this now, it's already kind of dry. It dries so quickly. I feel like I'm going super fast, but like, um, it's just, they just, as I say, they just go on so smoothly. Did you have to use slick stick to prep? No, no slick stick for this. Um, the door knockers are, uh, so the door knockers are already very um, textured, so it didn't need any slick stick and um, it's, it's really thick chalk paste. So it kind of adheres to things really well. The thicker the chalk paste, the easier it tends to adhere. So um, I'm trying to find what I had planned next I've kind of I had this whole like organization thing set up before I went live and now it's just gone to pot so here we go right okay so this is the ice and paste for what I'm going to use on the province and I'm just making this up as I go along really I kind of had a bit of a plan when I started just let me grab my brushes actually I had a bit of a plan when I started um but I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to be doing because I don't know, you don't necessarily know how things look until you actually start painting them. So, okay. So this is the icing paste and it's Mystic Turquoise. And just look how stunning and metallic that is. Look how shiny it is. It's so pretty. Um, so let me bring you back down. So I don't know if I'm going to be covering the whole thing yet again and maybe distressing a little bit later. I don't know yet. I'm just going to see. I've just brought the brushes across and I've lost them. Um, right, so I've just got like an artist brush. And again, you can see here how thick it is. So if I touch that, can you see how that kind of bounces back a little bit like jelly? They're super thick as well. And I'm just going to come on and I'm just going to see what this looks like on here. I'm just going to pat. You know, there's no rush. Um, if you do find that, you know, it's dried too quickly for you and you're not quite finished with it, you can always get your water mister and just reactivate it and it will start moving again. So just take your time. I'm not sure this colour, so what I said about not having a complete plan, um, I'm not entirely sure this colour is maybe strong enough. I don't know if it's kind of um, creating enough contrast for me. So 
you can start to see that metallic build up now it's kind of similar to one that I've just done actually um stick with me just bear with me guys I actually have some peacock here and this is the art alchemy wax I'm just going to start you can see this as well these are very pigmented and shiny maybe if I just start putting a little bit of this around the edges it's going to give me that metallic look that I want I'm just going to use my fingers again I don't mind getting messy don't mind getting my hands in I'm just going to start tapping this around it's probably still a little bit wet I'm going to just give it a quick dry Peacock Al Alchemist um, wax that I'm using. These are really beautiful iridescent waxes and very pigmented again. I find all the Prima products are very pigmented which is what I like. And I'm just getting my finger and I'm just kind of brushing over the details. So what's happening here is that they're just going to, it's just kind of going to sit on top of the crevices. Um, it's not going to sink in or anything, it's just kind of going to sit on top. And what that does, so if you think about things when they're old, um, you tend to have like lots of different layers of paint. So if you think about a top layer of paint, that's kind of started chipping away. It's kind of what I'm going for here. So I just like to get lots of different products and I like to just build them up gradually. So I tend to use a lot of different colours and waxes and things on my furniture and my home decor projects because I kind of like that rustic look that aged look so there you can start to see now that if I, if you can start to see that shimmer come in as i say i want this to be a metallic series so i need to get plenty of shimmer on there look at my hands now already a mess <laughs> so there you go can you see that it's looking quite nice okay I'm going to put that to one side again. As I said, I'm just going to have to keep kind of alternating while they dry. Um, so if I go back to this one now. So this one was our Cranberry and Buxton. I can never say it. Buxton. Buckram Binding. Sorry. This one's the beige brown that was on here as well. I'm just going to give this a quick dry. Hands. Yeah, so definitely artist hands. <laughs> I really hate like having to use the dryer as well when I'm on lives, but sometimes you just can't help it. You have to use it to like move on to the next stage. But um, I don't like not being able to show my face, and I don't like not being able to, like using the hair dryer either. But um, yeah, sometimes it's a must. Okay, um, I had this all set out perfectly, as I say, and now as I say, I've just kind of lost the plot with it a little bit. So let's have a think. Um, so I've either got this colour, which is the icing paste, it's the red amber icing paste, or I've got this one, and this is the rose gold. Let's have a look, let's have a, I'm just going to have a look at these and see which icing paste that I actually want to use of this. I can't get this one open. I think that one's going to be too close. I don't think that's going to create enough contrast. So I'm not going to use that one. That one, I think, is going to create more contrast. I'm sure that I had a different colour as well and I've lost it. Oh, here we are. Oh, there's this one. And this one is called... I'm just getting used to these icing pastes as well myself, guys. I've never really um, used them much before. They're kind of new. So we've got Fire Ruby as well. So I think out of those, I think this one is the way to go. So if you can see there, so if I hold them up, so we've got this one, I think, and that's quite a nice contrast whereas this it might again be too similar it might get a little bit lost in the color so I'm going to use the um, red amber chalk paste uh, icing paste for this one and let's just see how this goes um, just 
tap that on. Oh, this is really pretty actually. Oh, this is gonna look really nice. This is going to look a little bit like rust. I never thought I would say that when I was painting. I never thought I would want something to look rusty. <laughs> Um, I never thought rust was a good look until, you know, and then I started painting and, I, and now I see it everywhere and I think it look, always looks really pretty, so. <laughs> but this is very nice, I really like this. It's a shame because my door is just a little bit too small for these big ones, uh, for these big door knockers, so I can't actually have one on my door. Plus I already have a big old, like, blossom flight transfer situation going on on there, so I think it would probably look a little bit too much. But these have been very popular in my shop and again I didn't realise that they were going to be so popular but they have. They've sold really quickly so you know as I say guys they're limited stock so I would just try and if you do want them I would try and get a hold of them as quick as you can um, because they will be gone soon. So we're just going to pat that on. I find this so relaxing like these kind of projects I can just zone out and I just get lost in them. So can you see now we're kind of creating another dimension to it. I really like this actually, this is my favourite so far. And I hope I'm not going too fast for you, I feel like I am but... As you can tell they don't take very long. So what we've got in here so far is Cranberry and then we've got the what, the name that I can never remember, the book, um, the book Ram Binding and the Red Amber on this one so far and that is just really pretty. Um, I think that would look really nice on somebody's door and it's warm, it's such a perfect like autumn colour as well. Okay, so, um, right, well, we've, got, we've got the key as well. I'm, you've got, you should see the mess around me. I'm literally surrounded by chalk pastes and icing pastes. Um, okay, so then we've got the key and this was Dusty Plum. So let's see what we can do with this. And I'll try to put going to be one key. So if you guys have got any questions, let me know. Um, I'm happy to answer them. I think what might look nice on this one actually um, is the white gold. So well, let's just see how this looks. And I'm not using the same brush each time. Uh, what you can do actually, if you don't have that many brushes, you could just give it a mist and then give it a wipe. Um, but I'm, I've just got quite a few brushes here, so I'm just going to get work my way through them. So this is the uh, dusty pink color, the chalk paste. And again, you can see all that beautiful texture that it creates when you stipple it. They're just so thick and, as I say, pigmented. And then we've got some white gold icing paste. Let me just show you that again. So very metallic icing pastes. And these aren't quite as thick as the decor waxes, but they can be used in a similar way. Um, and they're kind of much easier to use as well, because if you make a mistake, it's very easy to fix. So again, I want this. It's going to be kind of a rustic metallic kind of look that I'm going for with this, um, with these door knockers that I'm using. So, okay, so I'm just going to pat that on very gently, focusing mainly on the outside. I want it to look like this was covered in gold at one point and it's just it's kind of started fading and chipping away. That's what we like. It's really what's in fashion at the moment, isn't it? These kind of pretty colourful rustic looks, I think. So I'm just going to pat that. So you can see there. I've still got to do the sides and things on this, so ignore that. I'll do that afterwards. And just make sure you lift them, lift them up as well and that you get underneath. So once these are completely dry, as I say, I will um, be... Um, put in gator hide on them and that's just a really tough durable top coat. So where you're from guys as well let me know. How is it as like autumn come as fall come where you guys are? Like we literally it was really sunny at the start of last week and then suddenly within a day it completely changed and it was almost like winter and it's been really bad weather in Yorkshire where I am. It's been really cold. So then we've got this pretty one here. I'll show you all them all in a moment and I will also take photos. So these will be added to my shop as well. So I am actually going to sell these. Um, as I say, they sell really well. And um, the last thing I'm going to do today, so I'm going to go back to this one that I pre-made. And this is the emerald green one. Um, it had Neptune and emerald green icing paste on it. And I'm going to just decorate this a little bit now as well. So I did kind of test this 
So I did test this before I um, went live just to make sure that these work. But something else that's come into the shops is the um, so the metallic acrylic paints. And these are also very pigmented acrylic paints. And let me just open. There's so many different kinds of shades and tones. So this one is called... I can never remember where the names are. Okay, I think it's on top. Hang on. <laughs> um, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, Golden Moss. So this one's called Golden Moss. So it has got like a green with a bit of a gold tinge to it. And I don't know if you've just seen, but they're kind of a little bit watery as well. Um, so I did quickly test this before I went live. So um, I, I know these work and I know this green works really well with the emerald green that I've got on there. Can you use these paints on the stencil that's being used door knockers though? It seems like they would make a good cut in the shop. Yes, uh, yeah, the door knockers are amazing. I'm so good that they are retiring them. Um, yeah, they can be used on stencils. Um, I've used them on furniture so far. I've used, um, so I've got a YouTube video as well of me doing this cabinet where I've used them on a silk screen stencil. So yeah, so they can be used like on whatever you want. They can be used in the same way as decor waxes basically. So um, use them in any way that you want. Um, so, okay, so this is the acrylic paint. And again, I'm just building up some colour. So I'm just going to start patting this. I'm trying to sh do it so you guys can see a little bit better. So I'm just going to pat this on there. So if you can see, so these acrylic paints can be used on furniture as well. I find that any of the Prima stuff can be used on furniture. As long as it is prepped properly and um, you top coat it properly, I'm just going to pat off the excess on this paper then you'll have no problems. So this is how I did the door knockers, guys. So if you saw the other door knockers that I did, uh, the very kind of rustic ones, um, whoops, um, this is how I work. I just build up the colours very, very gradually, but you can see that they go on so quickly that it really doesn't take much time at all. They're very easy to work with. I'm just going to get a little bit underneath there as well. Look how pretty that is. I'm not sure if this one's my favourite or the cranberry red one. And now I'm going to go to the classic deco waxes and this is the meteor showers. Um, I'm just going to give this a quick dry again. Normally I would leave them to dry, but um, that's what I prefer. But obviously when I'm live, I can't do that because I'd be here forever otherwise. last thing that I'll be doing today guys um so I am not organized I am never organized so this is the meteor decor wax again you can see how messy my hands is I use my fingers a lot for painting <laughs> and I'm just going to grab like a little bit of my finger and I'm just going to start just very gently dabbing and brushing with my finger over the top I don't want massive coverage I just want it to kind of settle in a few areas and a few details so again, if I just lift this up to kind of show you what I'm doing so you can see those details there, I've got that much on my finger, so not much at all. I'm just very gently dabbing and brushing. And so what we're going for here, so if you think about when things have been weathered, um, especially like copper, it, copper tends to turn green when it's kind of corroding with water and things. So, and then you start, kind of start to get this buildup of paint and layers of paint and different metallics and things um, happening and that's what I'm kind of going for here with this one. It's kind of looking like it's been maybe submerged somewhere a little bit too wet for too long but maybe once upon a time it was very kind of elegant and grand. So, okay. And there we go and then it's just added another dimension to that. Hey Roz, don't worry I'm just about to finish up actually. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what time it is. The Facebook doesn't really work for me properly anymore. Okay, so I've been on here half an hour. I'm gonna push you back a bit, guys, because we're a bit close and personal here. Um, so I've been on here half an hour, and you know, you guys can see how many um, that I've whipped up on here in half an hour. It's that quick and easy to kind of decorate the door knockers with these icing pastes and chalk pastes. And I'm just gonna grab a quick drink of tea. It feels really weird because I've only been live once in the last month and this is only my second live so I'm still getting like my live sea legs back a little bit. 
So um, if I show you guys then, I'll just run through the ones that I've done. Um, I'm going to start with this one. I'm not really sure about this one. So it's probably my least favourite that I've done today. And I'm going to have a think about it and do something a little bit different with it. But I'm not sure what yet. But what we've got on here so far, so we started out with Provence. Um, and then we added some Buxton Blue very gently. And then we added some um, Alchemy Wax in Peacock. So we've got this kind of build up there. Um, we've got, this This is my favourite I think, I think this one just wins out, so this one's got cranberry on it, and book and binding, book and binding, I always say that wrong, book and binding, I will get that right someday guys, I promise, <laughs> um, and then also we've got some of the red amber icing paste on there, and I just love that, I think that is so fitting for the season as well, um, and if my door could have that, if it, if it would suit my door, I would definitely be keeping that one, um, we've got this one's very simple but very i think so really pretty and elegant so this one is um painted in dusty pink and we've just got some of the white gold icing paste on top and that's very pretty and look it's so it's just so cute and sweet i like that one as well i like them all can i just like have a door full of door knockers <laughs> um and then lastly we've got this one so this one was painted in let me try and remember so neptune icing paste at uh, chalk paste sorry We've got Neptune chalk paste and then the emerald green icing paste and then we've got this little pot here I love these as well these can be used on furniture as I say as well these acrylic metallic paints so this is golden moss um, that I've used over the top and then some of the meteor decor wax and that's pretty as well I'm not quite sure which one's my favorite out of these two I think this one just wins I think this one um, so guys if you've got any questions let me know thank you Jodie uh, let me know. Um, I am live again at some point. I think maybe next week. I think I'm. Oh, Ros, I need to sort that out with you actually. I will be live again showing you some more of these ice pastes, uh, ice and paste. I know one of you mentioned something about using them on stencils. Well, I've got plans to use them um, with the stencil on a big canvas so then I can show you like how they can be blended and show you all the like different colours and things. So have a great day, guys. Um, I'll keep an eye in the comments if, if anybody's got any questions after this, if you're on the replay. And yeah, and just enjoy your day wherever you are. See you later. Bye bye.